Just want to say sorry for the audio. I have my mic system here and somehow things are just not working out today. It's not picking it up or it's low on battery. And then earlier my camera was pointed down a little bit further and my head was up kind of at the cutoff point. So hopefully I fixed that mid video and the audio was better. So again, apologies. Uh, sometimes that just happens when making videos, okay? All right. Decided to bring this video. I've ridden this bike uh, yesterday and today. And uh, while it's fresh on my mind, uh, just got a lot to say about it. Um, by no means should anyone expect this to be a 250F modern motocross bike. Uh, I guess, you know, 250Fs have been around now for, you know, likely uh, about 19 years. Um, and, and it's not even comparable to a 250F motocross bike um, that, you know, people should be... Uh, aware of and I'm, I'm about 5 11 and a half and about 197 pounds and to be realistic and honest I mean there's just no other way around it this is basically a toy um, it's a very very neat toy don't let me turn anyone off saying how fun this is to ride it's just you know you don't see on the YouTube, you know, I guess people that are riding these are five, six, you know, five, 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 six and a half, maybe five, seven. Um, you know, my riding position is, is right here, almost on to here, and that's how I ride my motocross, how I rode my motocross bikes, you know, to put weight on the front wheel a lot of the time. It's just, it's a small, it's a small, very small, it's like me riding a you know a little small uh, kids 125 bike you know not not the two-stroke one old school 125 cc motocross bike but younger children 125 like the klx 125 um, i haven't played around with suspension or anything yet so it, it's it's really soft right now i can crash into curves on my mountain bike you know i can ride pretty fast on the road and then I've got to, you know, hop over onto the sidewalk. And if I don't bunny hop or I don't use my front brake to lift the rear wheel up, my rear wheel will, you know, smash into the curb or my front wheel will, you know, just depending on where I'm, what, what I'm doing. This being 110, 112 pounds and me being close to 200 pounds, I don't feel, <coughs> I don't feel good about, about jumping in the curves. I, I, Right now, I feel like I need to slow down to one mile per hour or get to a stop and kind of, you know, give it a little gas and pull up the front wheel and, and just slowly put the rear wheel because there's a lot of mass on these little wheels. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, I just hopefully no one gets the wrong opinion. It's going to be a blast. And I, I, I'm going to, you know, definitely keep this hopefully for years and years. As I was saying before my battery cut off, I'm going to keep this plan to keep this bike for years and years. I think it's important to keep in perspective what this bike does and what it's going to excel at. Um, it's just no, by no means as capable as a, as a motocross uh, Japanese or a KTM, uh, you know, or a Husky dirt bike. It's just, um, the, you know, the brakes and the, and the power, it's just, it's just not there. I mean, it, it has instant torque and it's fun to ride, but like I said, it's more it's more on the toy side, at least from my perspective. Uh, I mean, it goes, you know, 43, 45 miles an hour when you cut the little green wire, uh, green with the black stripe wire under there. Um, and it speeds it up quite a bit because I was riding it around without it. And I was like, man, this is disappointing. But then I, I remembered to cut the wire and uh before that it was surging it would you know hit 30 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour and it would surge off and on the throttle i was like "Ooh, this controller's jacked uh, but i cut the wire and it did help and it helped with the acceleration uh, but again it's uh just don't go into this thinking that you're going to get a 250f and i mean even with the, the controller upgrade and the battery up upgrade the bike is so small um, you, I don't see how someone would want to go 70 miles per hour on this on the road or even in the dirt. It's, it's just get, it's just not anything substantial to hold on to. And you can't stand 
on it because me being a motocross a dirt bike rider you know when you're going over certain obstacles you stand up and let the bike pivot underneath your feet this one i'm a towering giant if i stand on it and it's like this thing's down here between my legs and i'm reaching down like this i've got taller bars coming i got a bigger fender i got some different gearing i got a little bit better brake pads on on their way in the mail uh but I mean, this might, you know, is it fun in the woods? Yeah. I mean, is it fun tooling around? And, you know, I rode to the grocery store yesterday and got some dog food, had a blast. It saved, you know, I mean, probably cost two or three dollars in my car to go to the gas, I mean, to the grocery store and a couple of cents to charge this likely, you know, five cents, 10 cents. Uh, and plus it's more fun. So I, Definitely an advantage of having this, you know, for, and, and having a gas car, you know, and using this as, as something as a, a pleasure, uh, you know, a, a toy or a tool for something, uh, you know, pleasurable to have fun with and hit some dirt trails. So I don't want to turn anyone off. It's an excellent bike for what it is. It's a great value uh, for 4000 I definitely wouldn't spend nine thousand on one of these and modify every single part on this bike to make it a nine thousand, eight thousand dollar miniature mini bike, is the best I can put it. But uh, I really like it, so uh, hopefully you know that I'm conveying that uh, it's a lot of fun and it. I mean, it's peppy. It's got an electric motor in it, so it's got near instant torque. It's very, very fun. I miss a rear brake. Oh man, not having a rear brake on a, on a, on something that is motor dirt bikeish. I'm constantly reaching down for my foot brake. Um, and that's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. I know they have a conversion for that, but I'm not gonna willing to spend $400 and convert a foot brake, you know, cause this isn't a motocross bike. I'm not gonna use it for that. So I just gotta get used to not having a foot brake. And I need to dial in the suspension, maybe put some more air in the forks or something because it just feels uh, like I could really, really harshly bottom this out if I really tried to hit something. And that's the difference, difference between a, two, you know, a uh, modern motocross bike. I mean, you can charge in to a three foot square edge, massive whoops and, and total 100% uh, confidence to do that. This, I, I can't even have the confidence to go charge into something that is curb size, you know, half a foot. Uh, I, it, it just, it, it runs through the suspension. Uh, but again, it's not a motocross bike. So I just want to reiterate to everyone, it's awesome for what it is. And they have a VIN number on it too, on the side of the frame right here, which is cool. Um, and sport mode and stuff, uh, it definitely tons faster in sport mode. I mean, it's always going to be in sports mode, but other than that, um, hopefully someone finds this helpful. Um, I see people at 6'2", 6'3", wanting to get on these. And I mean, just it's just a, it's just going to be a, a, a fun toy to run around on uh, when you're that large or over 200 pounds. Uh, I mean, you'd have to do a lot of work to this. And, and it's still just a little toy. It's between your legs to kind of sit on. And it's just it's not a motocross bike my last motocross bike i'm i'm six foot just short of six foot and i'm tippy toe with one foot with one foot up in the air and and tippy toed on my 250f and then a 450f being a little wider is even more where i'm almost leaning off the side of the seat so people that are like five six and five seven and i can't touch the ground it makes me uncomfortable wow get on a uh you know a 2018 uh, you know, modern motocross bike and uh, see how that feels. Uh, but yeah, so great, great machine. I'm really happy with it. I'm so glad I have it. I'm going to, I'm going to ride the heck out of it. Uh, <clears throat> and when I'm riding it around, I feel like a little kid, you know, I feel like people, cause it's, you're, you're sitting on it kind of, and you're condensed and people are kind of looking at you and I'm a, I'll, obviously I'm an older man riding around on a, you know, what looks like a kid, a young kid's, uh, Christmas present, you know, electric little kids motorcycle, electric dirt bike, you know, but, um, you know, they don't really know what it is. So I get a lot of questions just for people just flooding me with questions. What is it? But other than that, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps somebody and uh, I'll catch you on another video shortly. All right. Bye bye.